The general election campaign is really spicing up now. Sir Keir Starmer has spent the last couple of years trying to reassure everybody that Labour isn't a risk. I've changed my party. We've changed our party. I've changed this party. This is a changed Labour party. We were a changed party. And then yesterday, he let this slip. Yes, I would describe myself uh, as a socialist. I've described myself as a progressive. I've described myself as somebody who always puts the country first um, and party second. Well, there appears to be an immediate attempt to row back on the first bit of what he said there, describing himself as a socialist. Shadow Chancellor Rachel Reeves said this. Um, I've always called myself a, a social democrat, and what I mean by that is that I believe that children from whatever background they come from should get an equal start in life to the opportunities that our country offers. I believe in strong public services to support people all through their lives, from the cradle to the grave, and I believe that uh, work should always pay and offer security uh, to people. So uh, that's how I would describe myself. But if Sir Keir Starmer is to be believed, i.e. he is a socialist and if he was elected, Britain would presumably become a socialist country, then the big question has to be this. Does Britain really want socialism? Do we want to be a socialist country? The polls appear to suggest yes, we do. Most of the latest polling data puts Labour 23 points ahead. But what might socialism look like under Labour? Well, Labour has just been endorsed by 121 business bosses, which is a massive boost for them. If businesses don't fear socialist Starmer, then that's good for Labour. I will just caveat that slightly by saying that they've had to retract some of those in the last couple of hours, but still, the majority of that still stands. But there is a fear that Sir Keir Starmer would be in the pocket of the unions. One of Labour's biggest union donors, Unite, said Labour's plans for workers' rights had more holes than a Swiss cheese. What does that mean going forward? What would strike action look like? There is the other potential concern that modern British socialism means being aggressively pro-Palestine. The Socialist Workers' Party is all over these Palestine marches. Keir Starmer has said that he wants to recognise Palestine as a state. And there's this clip of Deputy Leader Angela Rayner appearing to grovel to a room full of pro-Palestine men. I know that people are angry about what's happening in the Middle East. And I said live on TV, and I say to this day, if me resigning as an MP now would bring a ceasefire, no, I would do it. I would do it. This comes alongside arguably Labour's most socialist policy, the VAT hike on private schools. There are calls for them to U-turn after a survey today claimed around 224,000 private pupils could leave as a result of the plans, double the previous estimate. What impact will that have on state schools? So, the question still stands, doesn't it? Does Britain want to be a socialist country?